Hello YouTube, welcome to my personal tutorial guide on how to use drywall stilts. In this video, I will be teaching you how to walk on your own drywall stilts for the very first time. I will also provide extra tips and tricks that you could use when you get on them, which should be pretty helpful. With that being said, let's begin. When getting on your stilts for the first time, it's obvious that you'll need something to sit on to put on the stilts, such as a chair, stool, table, or basically any tall furniture that you have inside your house. The first thing you should do is adjust the outer knee piece to the length of your leg where the knee actually reaches. To do this, you must hold the outer knee piece still against the base of your leg, while another person uses a tool such as the wrench or any kind of tool like this one you see in my hand right here. You can see that I put the piece here back where the screws are supposed to go through. With your tool, start twisting until both screws are completely through the holes and back in place. These screws can't be too tight or else it can bend the pole and damage your stilts, nor can it be too loose where the outer pole can just slip under. You want to make sure that the screws here are screwed up just right. Also remember to adjust the back heel on your stilts to whatever makes you feel more balanced. Just know that the correct adjustment here depends on your shoe size. In this segment, I'm showing you how to adjust all the stilt belts, as you can see right here. Just watch them carefully and you'll see how it goes through the little clip right here and every time you do this you must make sure that it's really really tight so it's nice and stable And just to show you right here, this is where the outer knee part should reach once you get it adjusted correctly. And finally, both of your legs should be in the stilts as seen here, and now you're ready to stand up and walk. Now that your stilts are on, you're ready to take your first stand. Now when standing up on the stilts for the first time, I definitely recommend you using some sort of stick like a metal pole. Using any pole, such as the one seen here, will definitely help you balance more, especially if you're using them for the first time. So this is highly what I would recommend for you. It'll be a little scary as soon as you stand up and start walking on for the first time, but that's why you have a pole, so you can stay perfectly balanced up. And when you do start taking your first steps, I highly do recommend taking small ones, as you can see right here. Another method I could recommend for balancing on stilts for the first time is something I like to call the penguin walk, as you can see here.
A second method to walk on your stilts for the first time should definitely take place inside your house, where you can use your hands to balance yourself from the ceiling, as you can see right here. There are two main things that I fear personally when I start walking on stilts. First off, the weather. That is, of course, if it's windy, because that'll make it really hard to balance. And second is people, as you can see right here. So as you can see, people could be quite dumb sometimes and cause accidents like that. So as you can see in these few clips right here, this is how to protect your head depending on which side you're falling on when you're on your stilts. So, so in my opinion, this is the best way to protect your head when you're falling on impact. The last thing you should know is how to adjust your stilts to a different setting. So as you can see here, all you gotta do is twist these pieces, which are on both sides of the stilts. All you gotta do is unscrew them and you can do it with your bare hands, they're not too hard. And as soon as you take them off, you can adjust them to any setting you want. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. If I were to recommend how often you use these stilts to get pretty good at them, I would recommend practicing them about two days a week. Or you can make up your own schedule since that's what I've been doing, but... It took me, on average, about three months to learn how to use the stilts on the full setting, as you can see in this picture right here. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope it helped you for all the first timers out there who start this, but since this video is basically over, I'm going to show you how tall or basically the perspective of what I have to be on to actually get on the stilts where I'm at the high setting. So it's pretty difficult. I always have to be on something just as tall as me or I don't really know how to explain it, but something about this height. So I'm just gonna show you that perspective, what it looks like when I'm this tall.